A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Returning from the region of Tyre, Jesus went by the way of Sidon, towards the Sea of Galilee, in the region of the Decapolis. They brought to him a man who was deaf, and had an impediment in his speech, and they begged him to lay his hand on him. Jesus took him aside in private, away from the crowd, and put his fingers into his ears, and he spat and touched his tongue. Then, looking up to the heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. Then Jesus ordered them to tell no one, but the more he ordered them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. They were astounded beyond measure, saying, He has done everything well. He even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, once, when I was in my formation period, we had a great opportunity to serve the leprosy patients. It was our first experience as a batch, and for me too as an individual. On the first day we went there, this particular, we realized that this particular organization was run by religious sisters. This director sister came to us for giving us some instructions because we are going to be there for a month. Maybe the kind of instruction as what to do, what not to do, how to behave in this campus and with the patients, all sort of things. And we were expecting what this sister is going to say. We were literally in a panic mood because also we were divided in the groups. And this sister told us, dear brothers, you are going to give treatment to these patients. We suddenly surprised. What sort of treatment does this sister expect from us? We thought that we were just maybe doing some work like cleaning or gardening or some cooking for the patients. We were thinking those work and came. And this sister asking us to give treatment. And then she continued, Dear brothers, your generous touch could create comfort in these patients. Your powerful words could create healing in these patients. And that is what we see in today's gospel too. Some people brought this dumb and deaf person to Jesus. And what did Jesus do? His powerful words created healing in this person. His gentle touch created comfort in this person. Today, this world, this wounded world needs our powerful words. This wounded world needs our touch. This wounded world needs a re-redemption by the chosen people of God. Dear friends, the world is wounded. The people are wounded in financially, economically, physically, psychologically. They need our touch. They need our powerful words. Scholars would say human beings are basically spiritual beings. Yes, of course, they are spiritual beings. But this spirituality is lived in this physical world. The spirituality is lived with this physical body. We need to address each and every individual in their physical matters, economically, psychologically, and even financially. We need to address the people. We cannot have a spirituality by hiding all this relational aspect of human persons because people are in relation to all this aspect. They are empowered beings. And that is what Jesus does in today's gospel passage. He addresses that person physically. He's, see, man, see, see that gospel passage. He is taking that uh, person, the dumb and deaf person, taking away from the crowd as if he has a personal relationship with that person. And then he started to touch his ears, his tongue, 
and then he cried up apatha that created a healing atmosphere in that person the physically ill person and in today's first reading you read prophet isaiah prophesied or expected the expected messiah as the one who is treating the people physically the lame leap like a deer the deaf hear the blind see the dumb speak physically treating the people the messiah is the one who is physically addressing the persons as a followers of christ as the followers of this messiah what are we going to do or what are we doing to this physically wounded person or this physically wounded world we need to do something for them that is what our call that is what our chosen state mother teresa very beautifully says let us touch the dying the lonely the unwanted the unloved according to the graces we have received we need to touch them we need to address their issues their day to day problems once i remember i remember a beautiful incident happened in mother teresa's life a sister from ethiopia is ringing up ringing up to mother teresa and telling mother here in ethiopia poor people are dying because of famine and pandemic we need to do something for them all of a sudden mother started to ring up to american president reagan and what happened you know the president extended his helping hand towards the people in ethiopia what this incident teaches when the chosen people take one step towards the poor the needy the common people take 10 steps towards them when the chosen people try to touch the needy the common people try to hug the dear brothers and sisters we need to do something in this pandemic situation we need to do that is what our christian call and that is what our great vocation ask us to do colossians chapter 3 verse 12 says as a chosen people of god the holy one clothe yourself with humility with kindness compassion meekness dear friends as a christian people as the chosen people of god we have the higher responsibility towards the downtrodden people the marginalized the migrants the suffer the persecuted what are we doing in today's second reading if we read very keenly st james says take you need to take the side of the poor people St Vincent says poor are our masters dear friends in this pandemic situation let us address them physically let us address them let us close our eyes and examine ourselves what am i doing those needy around me the one who is always knocking at my door what am i doing for them what is my concept of poor does my concept about them match with the concept of jesus we need to think we need to give a re redemption to this world god is ready to work that through our hands the chosen one the christian people let us awake the world by our touch let us awake the world by our powerful words may the grace of god lead us amen